Good evening, all. I was asked to do a reading on the Me Too movement in India. It sounds like it's spreading there. And the woman that I have up on my screen, Tanashri, um, is coming out or um, trying to express her experiences with some a sexual harassment uh, within more the um, film industry and this person's name is Nana Patagar so the question is is she telling the truth and also is this Me Too movement going to help break through uh, this very um, resistant force that we have of a male chauvinism there in India, this, these attitudes, and let's see if it can gather strength, and also will whatever Tanishri is saying, will it come to justice for her? All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this reading. Okay, there's a heaviness to the pendulum, quite a weight to it as we come up to this area. You can see it wants to, um, it does have a um, force field that is resistive feeling, very strong. You can feel it moving. The current of energy or the pushback is towards the towards me rather than the image you know and it's just expressive of that resistive force now that is in India not just India right but you know this is what we're feeling there this heaviness in terms of this chauvinistic attitude it is indeed very strong there very strong and engraved I see some deep roots in the earth it is strong it's unbending it's unyielding in many ways so now we are seeing uh, a little pop-up of expression of women trying to fight back with this. It's not easy, I am sure. So, and it is, you know, saying, no, it's not. And, and so many keep quiet there, I would imagine, with all of these things. <coughs> all right, so let's go ahead and go up to uh, this young woman's image, Tanishri. Is Tanishree telling the truth about these allegations against this man that she worked with in the film industry uh, with these sexual allegations? Is she telling the truth about the allegations themselves? Okay, that he did um, make, you know, some inappropriate, there was some inappropriate experiences or touch or remarks um, or being pushed to do things that were not in alignment with what her she felt her values were. Okay, so there is some resonance of a yes there. Okay, so is this gentleman, Nana Patakar, is he telling the truth? Or is the, all that he's doing? Okay, because you can see there's a no there. He's not. Okay, so in terms of Tanishri, in terms of all that she speaks of, there's a, this quite a long drama with her. You know, um, is it all valid or is some of it colored? It, it sounds like, at least from the reading, that the allegations themselves of this sexual harassment are valid and are true in what she's experienced, okay? So let's see the rest of it, all the other drama surrounding it. Okay, so you can see there's some no and some yes. So it, what it's feeling like is there is some colorizations in possibly some of the other, maybe in the way she conducted herself on the set or issues with her parents, I don't know. But, but in terms of the allegations themselves, just if we look at that, it, it feels like yes, that is a yes. And with him, there's a no. Okay, she's also saying she's experiencing PTSD, which many do from these kinds of issues. And is she? She is, okay. So all that she speaks of in that way is very valid, you know, the way her heart pounds and uh, the same experiences that were there before, you know, if that comes forward, you know, for her, uh, she feels differently, you know, nervous. Okay, so you can see there's a yes, more nervous, more 
worried about so many things that weren't there before. Okay, so this is real. She is suffering and struggling with those things. And uh, But again, it sounds like there is something a little iffy in there with some of her remarks beyond these allegations. Okay, so you can see it does come down to a yes. I mean, who can say what all those are since it's such a long drama ongoing. You know, these things get pretty convoluted as time goes on too. Okay, with him, is there any truth to his story? Okay, boy, that's getting heavy all of a sudden. It feels as if he's representing this population of these men that are so abusive and entitled there in India. And really, they're just like just like a voles is what I'm feeling. They just barge their way in. They do what they choose, and they're very much entitled and get away with these things. It's very heavy. It is a harsh reality for women in India. Very much so. Okay, so is there any truth to his story? Okay, so you can see there's not even anything. Okay, with her, there is. There's a, there's a lot of truth to what she's saying, validity. Uh, some of the drama, though, you know, has some entanglement of, hmm, I'm not sure. With him, you can see there's no truth, all right? There's nothing honest with the way that he is relaying the story of whatever happened to with her. Okay, you can see there's a yes. All right. Anything else with these two that's of import? Let's see. Okay, so they are representative of this, this class of, you know, as we say, women uh, that are treated in a certain, you know, they're on a certain level. They can be manhandled, basically. Okay, and this one being the, and I just see this bull with horns, you know, they just, big shoulders, big muscles. They, they've got the... They've got the upper hand there very, and I, I you know, what a surprise, right? Um, and, and they don't want to lose it. They're not going to lose that ground, they feel. Okay, they, they're going to hold on to that with all their might. But in terms of uh, Tana Shri and what she represents is breaking through some of this, does she feel like she's going to get a gain in this at all? Is she speaking in a way to get any kind of gain for herself? So that's interesting. Riches, monies, attention. Okay, you can see there's a no. Has she gotten a gain in this? Okay, you can see no. It's really been an up, I see a very steep hill. It's been an uphill battle really for her and her life. Has he gotten a gain? Okay, and you can see some resonance of yes, you know, something in there, you know, a, a gain, I can't say, maybe money, I don't, I don't know. You know, but there's something in there. Well, he's certainly gaining, you know, being able to take advantage of somebody. You know, make money by taking advantage of, of women, basically. Okay, this is part, it sounds like could be some of his, or is this some of his patterns? Okay, it says yes, and, and um, some of them on the set uh, with these films, these Bollywood films. Does that happen? Okay, one can see yes. Again, we're not speaking of all women and men but we are seeing that this is not an uncommon happening and not just on the set for goodness sakes gosh you know really it's so pervasive so pervasive and it's scary pervasive I'm feeling for Indian women uh, that wander there that are out and about okay you can see there's a big yes to that you know it's something that I'm sure they live with um, in their hearts and are, have that alertness to it and uh, want to protect themselves and yet they also don't know um, you know where to draw the line you know because they're gonna come out and be accused and you can see this is a yes and harassed and threatened you know like what we see women doing to hold them down in India okay I'm speaking of India now but this is not unusual for many areas Okay, so will she get justice? It sounds like this may have been going on a while. Tanishree, will she get any justice with this case here, with her being expressing herself? I do feel her parents around her giving her some support, but in some ways, and yet trying to push her too. 
Okay, so that's there too. So she's got that pressure. Um, will she get justice with this? It's going to come to any kind of justice or something that, you know, like I see a book being closed or this case can be closed and women can say, wow, she did this. You know, her voice was heard and it came to a conclusion where some justice reigned and maybe he won't, you know, whatever consequences. Okay, well, he have consequences for what he did. This, this man, Nana Patekar, will he? Minimal. Minimal is a feeling, if at all. Minimal. Will she get any justice? Okay, there's a light resonance, a light resonance, very little. Okay, if at all. Okay, so you can see where that's leading. Hard thing. Not really a good balance there. Okay, you can see it saying no. <clears throat> but let's say, because <clears throat> a lot of women that speak, it's not, you know, the men don't necessarily endure consequences. Um, and they are just more trying to speak their voice. What about just women listening to this and maybe they'll begin speaking their voice more like she is doing. Okay, now it's getting very heavy. And we will see what fizzles up with this question in India. Will it begin to have some breakthroughs in terms of this hardened male chauvinism there and manipulation of women? Put downs, really, and seeing them more as objects. Okay, is this gonna, okay, see such a hard black block there. Will this help, though, what, what she's putting herself through with this? In any way, any way, even a tiny. Okay, so you can see there's a, okay, there's a no and there's a yes. So it sounds like there is some revolving there. It's heavy, though. It sounds like whatever does come is going to be very hard one. Very hard one. Okay, will some more speak out, possibly, because of her voice? Or maybe there's some more now, I'm not sure. Okay, so no and yes. I mean, they can see what she's going through with this, even though they may want to, but they would really need to weigh this out. You know, what's this going to come back to me? And how am I going to live here? And all of this. So there might be quite a few women weighing out this thing. But in terms of some coming forward, Okay, so there is some resonance of, again, no, yes. So there's some percentage where it could, it's, again, kind of weakened. Uh, it's, uh, ooh, it's got energy there that speaks of, you know, oh, boy, ups and downs and backs and forths and what should I do and this isn't going to change and, oh, maybe it will, which, you know, just a lot of back and forthness there. Okay, so let's see with the Me Too movement overall for India. What's going to happen there? Will it gain strength at all? Gain strength. Okay, so you can see some turning, and then it goes this way, and then a bit of turning. It's like, you know, that's weak. Okay, it's weak. There's a weakness there. There's a... Um, there's not a great connection to uh, powers that will help women. Um, there is a lack of forces there to support them and lift them up. Okay. There's not the, um, I guess, the juice or the milk, you know, that can be pumped into their blood and their voice that will give them a platform to say, you know, we can do this. Okay, is this right? You know, because they, there's so much, there's kind of, there's a lot of fear put on them. Okay, so uh, it does have a little bit of resonance, though, that there's possible that there can be some shifts. You can see the weakness in it. It really slows down. It feels light. It doesn't have a lot of muscle to it. What about over time, though? I mean, even the tiniest step, you know, we want to give a big applaud to. But what about over time? Will this get any better for women there? Okay, there's a little bit of a, you know, no, and then there's a little bit of a bigger yes. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a hard, it's a hard road. Okay, does this mean, should women's 
speak out more, you know? Should they do this? Is this something that's kind of dangerous for them? Okay, so one can see there are dangers. There's very significant, true, real dangers in India for women to speak out and to use their voice this way. Okay, and it, it is a harsh reality. Um, okay, are they exaggerating the dangers? Okay, you can see no. And this is a big bit of it. Okay. But still, you know, some will, some will still come. I mean, they're going to come and they're going to be examples, okay, over time. And this may draw more to them, to their voices as they gain a little energy. Is this true? Oh, boy. It's still trying here, okay? We can again see no and yes is what we're getting. That could mean a 60-40, a 50-50 chance of things shifting. Um, also showing that there's still a lot of back and forth doubt and thinking, oh yes, maybe, oh no, you know, you can just see that mental fluctuation there within this area. Okay, so are women overall happy here? Do they have some happiness here? Okay, they do. You know, most people do around the world. Somehow they find it, right? It doesn't mean they, some of them live well and they eat well and they, you know, have, you know, some good things. And, you know, certainly many, many don't. But um, some have happiness here. You know, they find it with their way of life and things. And of course they do. So I just wanted to kind of take a bit of a peek at that. But they would like, uh, but they'd like, of course, more strength, more voice. Okay, you can see that getting really big. Really big. Okay, so of course. So what to do with this? Okay, what to do? I'm not sure what the answers are here. Okay, so there's not a lot of easy answers. It doesn't mean people shouldn't still keep trying to find balance in themselves you know, working with whatever keeps them grounded and keep themselves safe, make good choices, um, have the right, do your best to have the right people around you. You know, you just have to go forward with this. And, uh, you know, that's just how it is. And, and there's still a lot of, there's a lot of bonds there in India, a lot of bonds that keep people very happy there in many ways. Okay. So let's see if there's anything else that may be of import. We can look at this real quick. So let's see, Me Too movement in India. Let's see, it's strength there. Okay, so you can see it's relatively weak. It's going slow. Me Too India gathering, I mean, Me Too movement gathering strength in the U.S. Okay, it's a little bit bigger. A little bigger women have do they have some strong ability to have stronger voices in the US okay you can see a yes India okay you can see it goes down to there's a yes okay so there is more US even with all the mess we have here amazingly you know so that's what we need to look at and are there other areas though that are worse off than India you can see there's a light yes and a no too. So it sounds like there's many that are quite equal and there are some areas that are that are worse and, and really struggling. You know, again, we have to, it's area to area. Also, if people have money, if they don't, you know, what their status is. Do they have food? You know, there's just so many issues. You know, do they have a man to protect them? Do they not? Are they a widowed here? This is a big thing. Um, are they married? Are they not? Are they pretty? Have they been marred? Their skin or their looks, you know, is such a big issue here. And let's see if it's this big in the U.S. Okay, you can see no. Okay, so there's other issues there that really compound. You know, there's, the, there's still the case system. There's different religious issues here that are just very ingrained and hard to hard to come through that you know makes all this so complex right now okay so let's go around and do you get a bit more of a feeling and see if anything else comes forward
and I have been there. I have visited India Cup actually once, and uh, that that was an interesting experience for sure. So I know you know some of the feel there. Certainly, you know, one visit isn't going to give you the full feel, but um, okay. So if if there's anything else that comes up. Okay, so there's not really anything else coming right now. I mean, it doesn't sound hugely hopeful, although it's never a bad thing when we see someone speaking up and being an example there, um, you know, and that people, that women are debating it in their minds on where to go. Uh, and, uh, you know, every little step certainly is worth something. And, uh, you know, we can hope that there's more that come forward and, and they are kept, you know, in a way where it's not too, you know, they can voice themselves that this moves forward in the world, not just India. We can just keep going. That's all we can do. Okay. So thank you for asking me to do this reading. Have a good night.